Hello, and welcome to this walkthrough of Barnyard Blitz. Hi, my name is Tyler Schmidt. I'm the designer and developer of Barnyard Blitz. And today I'll be walking you through this game, which I think is very fun and exciting for a number of reasons. So let's, uh, let's get into the pitch. This is my key art for Barnyard Blitz. Uh, as you can tell, this is a um, game with hopped up um, farmyard animals. And the aesthetic is sort of a fun um, farm theme with a bit of extension into whimsical and fantasy elements. So, general market for the game. Barnyard Blitz is a uh, Japanese-style retro shoot-em-up or bullet hell game. Uh, which is a vertical shooter with a fun barnyard theme. This has been in influenced by the cute, lighthearted styling of Mushi Mushi Pork and the gameplay of shmups uh, developed by Cave. Which is a uh, very famous uh, development studio for this type of thing. This is a game where the farm animals take over the farm, freeing their compatriots from slavery but with the aid of aliens. And to me, this is a response to factory farming, which has uh, basically overtaken um, food production in the United States. Um, and it's the idea that, man, you know, uh, there are uh, lots of problems with the way that um, our farm animals are being treated and, you know, aliens may be looking over the world and say, ha, huh, we, we need to do something to, to change this. Uh, these, these animals are being mistreated. Uh, so they hyper-evolve a few of them, make them super intelligent, and give them spaceships to go ahead and, and free their compatriots. So the description of the game. Um, it's initially going to be one player. Uh, I may also add in a local co-op as well. Um, this is uh, a lighthearted tone. Uh, and it's sort of the setting of uh, a vast, like, American-style farmland uh, with maybe some elements of commercial farming. Uh, again, the genre is bullet hell, which is just um, a high-intensity, uh, large numbers of waves of enemies, large density of bullets and uh, visual elements on the screen. So it's going to be a very visually engaging game. Uh, and it's inspired by one of my favorite uh, shoot 'em ups from Cave called Mushi Mushi Pork, where you're um, a cute anime girl that pilots a pig that takes on, you know, standard techno type bosses. And then you defeat the pigs and pick up um, pig elements uh, as you go through. Uh, it's a fun theme, and HP instead of lives is going to be one of the changes that I make to gameplay to make it more accessible for regular players. Uh, the target market's going to be North America and potentially Asia, uh, with a general target of indie gamers who are likely to pick up games like this and fans of retro arcade style games. Uh, this is going to have some retro vibes. Uh, the unique value prop, um, arcade club players uh, who collect retro arcade games have shown positive interest in playing this type of game. And um, I'm planning on demoing this at California Extreme, which is an, ar uh, an arcade uh, venue here in, in California. So competition, um, Yotsubane, Cave, uh, Doragon, Granzella, Infinite Dreams, Final Form Games, all these guys are sort of small scale developers that are producing um, shoot 'em ups in the genre. And they're all producing really good work. Uh, and I've played a lot of their games and they're really fun. Um, the strengths uh, is this is a unique perspective on the genre. Uh, I've had hands-on experience playing uh, retro games in their perspective arcade cabinets for a number of years. Um, and uh, I know what it takes to make these retro games be fun and alive in the modern era. Um, the market for indie games is in a pretty good place. There's lots of interest. Um, and the shmup genre is relatively small compared to things like the platform, um, genre, platformer genre or the puzzle game uh, genre or horror games. Um, I'm basically going to plan on releasing this on PC, but I'd love to release it on mobile soon after. Um, the, the customer, um, you know, generally spends 10 to $20 per game. 
And again, I'm trying to reach indie gamers who like niche products and are, discer are a discerning group of players. Uh, price of the game, um, $299 to $999, depending on how many levels. Profit, unknown. Developer time uh, is basically the only budget I have, uh, which is my, my input, which will be a few months. Development schedule. Development begins in August. Uh, we now have a working prototype, and uh, I'm looking forward to continuing to build this with a shape-up style, agile uh, development philosophy, uh, which you can look up um, if you just look up shape-up. Uh, financial plan. Um, I'm a sole de designer and developer, and I'm allocating my own time for production. So the financial plan is basically the budget for development is my time. Um, outside funding would be needed primarily for marketing and somewhat for hiring for art and assets. Uh, and plan on growing an audience through grassroots word of mouth. Um, it's team is just me. And um, I own 100% of the equity in IP. So thank you. Um, my name is, again, my name is Tyler Schmidt. You can reach me at schmidt197 at gmail.com. Uh, I look forward to hearing back from you. Uh, you can download the game now uh, at itch.io, and I'm happy to send links uh, to that uh, as needed. Thank you.